this would be on trail day number 113 it is uh, Wednesday October 21st of 2020 I stayed last night at the David Lesser Memorial Shelter which I don't know if you can see is this right up there probably can't see it I barely can see it <clears throat> but I stayed at one of these camp spots uh, I think there's six total so have my hammock. I already put my tarp away. Well, I've rolled it up. Get it ready. Uh, got breakfast going. Got two packs of cinnamon apple oatmeal and some raisins. And a double hot chocolate, double Folgers coffee. So, it's a little after nine. I'm going to finish breakfast, pack up real quick, and get out on the trail. So this is Buzzard Rocks. So a little side trail off of the AT. Got hooks. Said it was a boulder field with a mostly overgrown view. And that would be correct. It's mostly overgrown. I don't see any buzzards though, so I wonder where that name came from. Well anyway, there's Buzzard Rock. Well, the sign there says there's a view. Doesn't look that far, so might as well stroll over here and check it out. Oh yeah. Let's get a nice little view of the valley here. Not too bad. Virginia, West Virginia sure is flat. <laughs> oh. So this is one of the trails to the Blackburn Trail Center, which is closed as far as the hostel. That's where I had thought about going last night, but then I ended up chit-chatting with too many people. Uh, they do have a, they're letting you camp there, they have water and power strips to charge electronics, but I don't need to charge anything, got plenty of water. So. I don't know how far I'll go today, there's a, the next shelter is 11 miles, which is in the middle of the roller coaster. Puts us at like a 15 mile day, which is pretty good. My at the hotel they had lotion in the bathroom with the shampoo and conditioner, so my feet had gotten pretty rough. I lotioned my feet, and now the the pad right, right behind my toes. Uh, I guess it softened the callus and made it come off, so it feels almost like a hot spot. I've had that before, 
so it's nothing like to worry about as far as a blister or whatever, but it just kind of makes walking a little uncomfortable. So I may stop at that shelter in 11 miles. And just see how I'm feeling. That Ramdino roaming the trails is doing his section hike. He's right behind me. He left Harper's Ferry this morning. So it'd be kind of cool if I ran into him. I don't know how far he's going today. I don't know if he'll go to Blackburn or beyond. The terrain's nice and flat, but we still have rocks to deal with in a lot of places. Well, some of them kind of remind me of Pennsylvania rocks. At least they're just small patches. And you still get a good bit of good terrain between them. Uh, there's a couple that was camping at the shelter last night was doing a section hike. And they said that was the worst thing about the roller coaster was if it was really rocky. By this point I've walked over millions of rocks. Lost a few hundred thousand more. <laughs> That's kind of a cool rock. Just an indication that at one time this mountain may have been the height of Katahdin, who knows. So there's this little side trail. It's not marked, but it kind of comes up on this ridge. So. distance but not much Kind of tell we're beyond the roads and parking areas. Trail's a little bit more overgrown. I know it's all maintained by volunteers and Trail clubs are always need more volunteers. I think the average age of a trail maintainer is like 62. But they do do a pretty good job of keeping the 
day hiker area is pretty well green. I try to tell the running the hikers that are when they get off the trail they want to pay it back. They're going to go set up and do trail magic. I try to tell them if they really want to pay it back to the trail, go do some work on the trail. I mean, as a hiker, I appreciate a cold drink and a snack for sure. But Yeah, I probably thought it was crazy just talking to myself. But, uh, a nice, well maintained trail is uh, quite appreciated too. So, I stopped here on this log, took a snack break, and I'm seven miles from the next shelter. It's 2.30. One mile from the roller coaster. I was looking in gut hooks. And in five miles, I come across the Bears Den Hostel, which the hostel is closed. Uh, it's run by the ATC, so... Uh, from the comments and got hooked, you can get pizza, ice cream, and soda. And they'll let you camp for free. So... That may be my destination. Yeah, I know, it's kind of funny main leg and you're only doing 10 11 mile a day but i'm hoping maybe rem dino's doing bigger days can catch up with me by tomorrow or something let's see spider webs across the trail Hiker warning, you're about to enter the roller coaster, built and maintained by the trail boss and his crew of volunteers. Have a great ride. Hiker warning. I should say, unless you just recently walked through New Hampshire and Maine, this might be a difficult part of the trail. Or at least that's what I'm telling myself. I told myself going into New Hampshire and Maine that it was going to be the toughest, most difficult thing I've ever done in my life. Which on well, some levels, I guess it was. But I was ready for it, so... It didn't... It was not as difficult as... I envisioned. So on the flip side of that, I have to be careful to not just be like, Oh, this is going to be a piece of cake. Because it's not like suddenly the trails has just gotten this nice little stroll in the park. There's still difficult parts ahead. And stumbling over a bunch of awkwardly shaped rocks is a pain in the butt regardless.
So there's this ice chest on the side of the trail. And you can tell by how moldy and nasty the hot dogs and stuff are. It has been here for a while. <sighs> yeah. Trail magic's a nice thought, but uh, if you're gonna do it, don't abandon it. So far the roller coaster hadn't been bad. Started off with a downhill and one little uphill. Now it's kind of flat and rocky. Nice little view spot. So that's the trail northbound, just came that way. And this is the trail southbound that I'm going. It hasn't been too bad overall. The ups and downs are fairly minor. Yeah. A little over a mile to get to the Bears Inn. That's four o'clock. It says they don't start selling stuff till five, so that'd be about perfect timing. I don't know if they have a spot for a hammock or not. Everybody talked about a nice grassy area. If not, I may try setting my tarp up with trekking poles like a tent. I think I can do that, but I've never tried it. If it works out, then that just means I have another option. There was several day hikers out going to that view overlook. I passed several, several passed me. It seems like I got a break with the day hikers for a minute. This is a game called Splat the Backpacker. We gotta cross this highway and take a left and follow the highway for a little bit uphill. Too bad. 
So here we are at the joke board. Uh, what's the difference between a day hiker, a section hiker, and a through hiker? A day hiker sees food on the ground along the trail and walks by. A section hiker stops, dusts it off, and eats it. A through hiker stops, picks it up, eats it, and then digs for more. And then how does a crazy person get through the forest? He takes the psychopath. That would be the AT, the psychopath. I don't know what trail that is. Probably goes to the parking lot. But in true AT fashion, we're going uphill. I shouldn't be too far from the bear's den. I'll be there shortly. So I made it to the bear's den trail center. It's up this side trail. I'm assuming the rocks are right over there. We'll uh, check those out later. Later today, if I can't camp up here or in the morning when we leave. We'll go up here and see what it's all about. A fire pit with benches over there. So I went in, got a pizza and a couple of sodas and they said I could set my hammock right over here close to the privy <laughs> between these two trees so this will be home for the night